Hey, what's up everybody? This is XS71C here with a tutorial on how to install plugins onto your PSP. Now, what you need is, of course, custom firmware. You do need custom firmware, so... Yes, I provided Pro-C2 in a previous video, and that video is in the description. So, go there in order to get custom firmware. You do need that. Otherwise, you cannot use a plugin. I'm sorry, but you do need custom firmware. So, <clears throat> let's begin. Uh, so here are all the plugins that I have. These are all of them. And there are tons. Quite a bit. And I will literally give all of these to you for free. Like, literally. All these are yours. I will put the link in the description for every single one of these plugins. I mean, of course they're free. I mean, hello, it's a freaking tutorial. Duh. <laughs> Anyways, so here we go. Let's go ahead and start this off. Uh, let's pick one real fast. Um, don't need a change log. Custom oh, No, don't need that. We've already done the CXMB. We don't see XMB, something like that. But anyways, yeah, we don't need that anymore because I've already done a tutorial on that one. So, screw that. Don't need Vice City Story Vice City Stories cheats because I don't have Vice City Stories. So I cannot use it. Oh, uh, shoot. What can I use? I don't even know. Media controller? No. What the hell is this? Uh, uh uh, I'm good. Don't need that. Okay, and loader paint. Paint on it? Huh. Oh, show one more. Paint, huh? Let's see. A basic PLC framework for upcoming tweak display module with improvements. Have fun, draw anywhere, and it remains. Enjoy. Alright, so. Right trigger and analog draws, circle, new random color, square plus circle, erases. Alright, sure, we'll try it. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let me uh, switch my PSP over to USB mode. So we can connect and start off the tutorial on how to do this. Hmm. Might take a minute. Hmm. PSP's being stupid. Come on now, I don't want to have to take the memory stick out. <laughs> it wants to be in recording mode. It's stuck in... Okay, there we go. Alright, it's connecting. Alright, just wait a second. There it is. So, go and plug in your PSP. And you need to create a folder called SE Plugins. Inside, you're going to need two different uh two different text files the rest of these are actually the stuff i'll explain in a minute but you need two game and vsh vsh is the is going to be where everything is on your xmbs like everything at the home screen if you don't know xmb means it's your home game means everything that's inside the game like what you can do inside of your game that's what this will do so, like, how I record my games, this remote joy light thing right here allows that. So, there you go. So, what you're going to do is get your thing, add your PRX file into your SE plugins. Now, go back. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, okay. So, it should... Okay, here we go. So, add this... All right, let me copy that. So copy that line of text and go into your v VSH. Do not put in game because I don't think you want to be drawing in your games. That's kind of weird. Okay, add it, add it in space one. This is in binary coding, so if you put one, it means yes. If you put zero, it means no. So just think about that. It's a binary. So okay, just file save. Make sure to save, otherwise it's not going to work. And there you go. You need the PRX file because that is how it gets in there and that's the plugin itself. And you have to do the VS, VSH and game. If you don't do those two, it will not work. 
it'll just have it in the file system and you, it won't actually be able to be enabled. So, now that we have those in there, you are good to go on SE plugin. That is it. You're done with file stuff. Unless you want to add in more, go on ahead. Okay, let's go ahead and we're done with this too. Uh, let me go to my recorder pl program. Back out of USB mode and open up my recording program. Alright. Uh. Oh, yeah, alright. I may have to do what I did last time. Oh, yeah. Alright, so that from this point on, it's going to be cut. I'm going to cut back as soon as I get my recorder program started. So, see you in a minute. Alright, and now we're back, and the thing has started. So, here we are. And just to make sure that it is on, press Select. Go down to your Recovery menu. Go to Plugins. Move the mouse. And there it is, Paint on X and B. Enabled. That's good. So you can now go back. Back. Alright. So, let's try this. It said R square. No, 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 no. It said R analog. Oh. <laughs> That's some. Um... Oh, wow. Really? It doesn't show on the recording. That's gay. It doesn't show that I'm drawing on the recording. But shows how I'm drawing on my PSP. Huh. That's bad for business. Oh, there you go. Look, you can see it now. Okay, never mind. This is showing that I'm drawing on my on my PSP. I'll hold in circle for you guys to see it, but it works perfectly fine for me. So as you see, see, I'm drawing. And I draw into blue. Sucks one of them. I was just drawing like freaking crazy. Ah. Alright, now reset. So none on my screen. As you see, you can even see the X. That's the X for drawing. So R analog. It's really hard to draw this thing. And see. There you go. You guys can see it works. Now it originally shows on the thing itself, but I have to hold C for some stupid reason just for you guys to see it on the screen. But yeah, it is drawing. That much I promise. Square circle. Alright. So, yeah. That's that. Um, let's try this. Let's go look at more programs. So, minimize. See, any other program we want to check out? Let's see. Password lock. Hmm, that's weird. Plugin manager, we don't really need that. Pops loader, you can put that in as an, like an op, another loader deal, but then you'd have to put in another session like pops.txt. You have to put that in too. Stupid power saver, don't see how that's possible. Pascal patch, PTX viewer, power control, quick boot. Oops, that's on accident. And also, hey, look, remote joy, remote joy light. This is the actual freaking thing that I use to record. So right here is the actual program. So click this for the program, and you can select whatever you want. I mean, you put this extract on your desktop. That's the program, and this is what you put into your. Oh wait, oh the same thing. That's different. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Okay, I didn't see that. Remote Joy Light put that into your SE plugins and then go into the VSH and your game and paste that in and like put in your line of code which uh, maybe it's in here yep right here let's put this and this is actually I think you have to put this for your pops text this is your pops thing like you have to put this in pops no 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 Fla these are two different things, like a flash and a a memory stick. So you put two different things here. I think flash is your inner, like your actual memory on your PSP. 
I, I think I think that's for PSP Ghost actually. I think that's what that is. But anyways, you get the point. <clears throat> oh, that is for pops. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I didn't notice this literally what it said. It literally says right there. Everybody shut up. I'm a failure. Okay, whatever. I'm probably cutting that out. If I don't cut that out, then it's for hilarity. It's for to be hilarious. But okay, that is literally all you do. You just put the PRX file into your programs, and I mean into your SE plugins folder on the root of your memory stick. It has to be on the root, can't be anywhere else on the root. Then, like, put the PRX file in there, then create a vsh.txt and a game.txt. TXT, I said D. And yeah, just put in that little line of code, the ms0 colon slash psp slash sc, no, no, wait, take the psp, just colon slash sc plugin slash the name of the prx file space one if you want it on and zero if you want it off. And then you press select and you go into the recovery menu, go to the plugins, do all the other stuff, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Oh, what did I just do? Just press something. It just made my like PSP a lot darker. Oh, that's what I did. Turn the darkness down. Turn the <laughs> darkness. Turn the brightness down. But anyway, okay, everybody. I hope this helped you uh, be able to use your plugins. And like I said, Remote Joy Light. I prefer you. you I recommend you get it if you're wanting to make videos like me on your PSP this is perfectly how you do need a computer in order to do it but it is really how I do it as you see right there it literally says the program name but yeah alright I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helped you and yeah I will see you guys later in another video so see you later